I'm doing a rewind on my Frankenstein smartphone series by starting over from scratch. After too many failed customization attempts with the battery in my previous donor, the LG Rebel 4, I permanently damaged it beyond repair and thought it best to start over. Luckily, my Black Friday 2019 cheap smartphone search was good to me and I now have a nice supply of sacrificial Samsung A10e's. Hopefully, a donor that's less susceptible to tinkering. To see what I do next, stay tuned. From what I can tell, the first thing I'll need to do is remove the screen or back, whichever comes off easier when I split it down the side. I'll have to see how that goes. I'm not sure exactly how this phone opens up at this point, so I'm hoping it's easier to tear down than I'm thinking. I'm guessing the safest place to start prying is away from the ports and buttons, so right here seems like the best place to start. I'll work my way around the phone, prying open the edges a little at a time. I'm also hoping this phone isn't glued together. I saw a teardown video of an A10 where the phone was pried apart without the use of a heat gun, and I'm hoping the A10e is constructed the same way. I recently ordered a 100 pack of guitar picks. They were of heavy gauge and I'm hoping they'll work well as a pry tool for projects like this. Similar to what I'm using the blue thing for here in this video. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. There are 13 screws I need to remove here, after which I'm thinking will expose the electronics I want to tinker with for this Frankenstein smartphone project. Now that the circuits are visible, I'll go ahead and tear down as much as I can before ending this video. In my first teardown video of the LG Rebel 4, the battery was removable. That's not the case today. The A10e battery is glued in place and does not use removable two-sided adhesive. The only safe way to take it out is if you have the solvent that dissolves the glue, which melts the glue and nothing else. At this point, this is where I usually take a photo of the circuits to make a new background wallpaper suited for this phone. It'll be in the same repository from my video, Making Circuit Board Backgrounds. A link to the repository and the video will be in the description. So here I go. I'll dismantle what I can, then start doing some research on all the different pieces, trying to figure out how I can modify this Samsung into my own Frankenstein monster. I'm really impressed with the serviceability of the A10e, except for the outer rear cover being a little tough to remove. After that, the process was very straightforward and intuitive. The labels you see are possibilities for features I'd like to modify. I'm just brainstorming at this point. More research is needed to keep my level of failures to a minimum. Now that I'm done with this teardown, there's lots more to come in this series. The phone you see now will evolve. I'm not sure what I'll end up with in the end, but that's the fun of it. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section down below. That's all I have for now, and I'll catch you in the next video.